Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome to Freebeat, where I post new music-related content every single day. So if that sounds good to you, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, let's get started. So today, kind of following in yesterday's video, we're going to talk about uh, making your music a little more human, uh, more specifically when you're sequencing, and more specifically when you're using an instrument that you can live record on, such as the Teenage Engineering OPZ. So we're going to talk about why you shouldn't always quantize your beats. Um, which, if you don't know what quantizing is, basically on here I can just kind of play something in, and you can hear it's really out of the way. And that was a bad example, I played poorly, but basically when I quantize, it just snaps everything to the beat, making it seem very robotic. And uh, I'm here to tell you that you shouldn't always do that. And uh, the reason is pretty simple, it just makes it feel more human. And when something feels more human, then you can apply yesterday's video's concepts to your electronic music. So, for example, let me just put that bass line back in there. Let me get a grasp on the tempo here. So that last one's a little off. Now, let me put a snare drum on. Let's take the click out, see what it sounds like. Now, to some people that might sound like a mistake, but to me, this shows that whoever, you know, wrote this little track, this beat, was indeed human. And because it's just off the beat, it gives it a little air of authenticity. One thing that I think is far too prevalent in today's modern music is this sort of, like, obsession with time and being precisely on the beat and uh, to me, that's just not how music works. Music is a living, breathing thing. It has push, it has pull, it has give, it has take, and it bends and it flows and it's always in motion, um, which is one thing I, I really like to apply when I'm drumming. Um, so, so yeah, we can't always be, I mean, there's nothing wrong with a good four on the floor, you know, computerized dance beat. It's really fun to dance to, really nice to sequence, you know, your typical bass lines over and stuff like that. But with a more human approach to music, we can get a deeper connection with our audience, in my opinion anyway. Um, of course, everything here is always my opinion, but let's, let's get some hi-hat on here. Something like that. I'm gonna make it two measures long and just kind of play. So with this, we can quantize it a little bit because in the middle it gets a little dicey. But that's one major advantage of electronic music is we can go back and edit things. Um, we don't have to quantize everything. So we can listen. And actually, I kind of like the hi-hat track. Let's mute the kick and snare. So right there, that one, that double right there. Let's uh, go ahead and fix that. again. Let's see how that sounds. Now it's see, it, see it sounds kind of swung. I'm gonna put one right here too. <laughs> and now we have something completely unique. And granted, it might not be the most danceable thing, but, uh, and again, especially with electronic, uh, electronic music, we can take something like that and copy it, paste it, cut it, we can put it on the computer and cut it and, you know, stretch it to what we need it to be. But because it was actually played in by a real human in real time, it will always have that quality as long as we, you know, don't mess too much with the quantization settings. And that's another thing that I really like about the OPZ, and I know there's a lot of other electronic instruments uh, like this out there, but you can hold record and play stuff in in live time. And I think that is just one of the most cool features about this thing. It's so powerful. You can do it on any track. We can, you know, come in here. We can <laughs> see, I played that really poorly. Now let's quantize the bass line. Now a quantized bass line sounds pretty good sitting over our non-quantized drums.
Okay. And here I'm using the arpeggio track, which of course in itself is quantized. And uh, on the OPZ, a new feature is that you can turn that completely off the arpeggio track. You can basically turn it into like another lead track, which is like one of the coolest updates. And we can just go in and mess with it like normal on here. I guess it really turns into a, a chord track almost. I think that only has two note polyphony though, but that's, that's okay. it makes it a lot more fun to jam over when the drums are just a little bit off like that. Uh, very cool. So let's go ahead. Let's just uh, give another example here. Let's clear the, clear the pattern or the project. Sorry. There we go. Let's bring the tempo down a bit. Hold metronome, green knob for tempo. And this will be a little harder because the click is it's, it's slower. So uh, playing it in live time is going to be a little more challenging. I think I did a pretty good job. So the snare drum at the end again is a little bit off and it just, uh, it sounds so good. I'm just gonna play random. <laughs> Take the metronome out. And of course, I hate that, so the, the cool thing about electronic music, and it's gone. Let's try that again. There we go, just like that. And we can even apply some effects over it, you know, or a... Uh... Uh, so, sorry, some parameters. Change our filter. There we go. We are cruising. Let's see here. A little delay. And that's even cooler when you put delay on something that's not quantized, because it can amplify your mistake and it can either sound really bad or sometimes it can make it sound really, really good. Oh. That little bit of reverb there. Oh yeah. And then we can do something like this punch-in effect here. So when we hold shift and press uh, this A, we can hear that it plays 16th notes, but that it automatically quantizes them just for that part. So we can have the best of both worlds. And I know there's a lot of different drum machines out there that have different options uh, like this. Um, but again, having all this, you know, in this little sequencer is just phenomenal. Very cool. And we can just keep doing, you know, whatever we want with it. Very good stuff. I'm getting carried away now. But yeah, just a, a simple little video. Just wanted to kind of elaborate on yesterday's topic, but on a more human perspective and kind of relate it to something that, you know, anybody with an OPZ or a similar device can really get a tangible hold on. And that's just don't quantize your, don't quantize your beats as much or any of your music, really. Um, use it 
as a tool. Don't use it as like an end-all be-all for everything you do. So if you guys enjoyed this one, go ahead and leave a like on the video. If not, you can leave a dislike. That's okay too. Doesn't hurt my feelings. Just makes me try that much harder next time. Either way, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Ring that notification bell. New videos coming out every single day. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.